So tomorrow will mark 40 days and 40 nights since I first moved to the Phoenix area. I visited Phoenix and stayed here for four months last year because I was working remotely. The cost of living here was low and at the time I felt a great sense of acceptance when I got here. And when I first moved here, my strategy was to try to befriend as many people as I can, build up that big network and take it from there. So I took a job at a tutoring center. I have a lot of friends at a local church. I'm not very religious, but it helps to connect with people. And in fact, that's where I discovered all the art shows where I'm uh, making a lot of uh, bismuth art to sell. And more importantly, to network with the people there because um, you never know who you might meet, right? It might be a future life partner, a future business partner, a good connection to career paths. And uh, I wasn't shy about making friends with my boss either. Unfortunately, I find there's a very thin line between befriending your boss and um, being nice to him and, and, and being walked on all over. So two weeks ago, uh, something really upsetting happened at work. Uh, I mean, not that I didn't like the work, but it could have, I think it could have been handled a, a, a lot better had I not um, had the wrong attitude about it. I was, um, we had a slow week because of school schedules and all that, and my colleagues decided to go away. And I told my boss, you know, it's good to network with the right people here. Um, I'll work whatever hours you Actually, can you let me know the hours so I can work around you? And he ended up giving me like 12 hours. And they weren't in a solid block either. They, they still scattered four days. I think I had the Wednesday off. I went to record some videos in the Desert Botanical Garden. It wasn't like I could take a break kind of schedule. And uh, I thought he should have still paid me for at least 20 hours. Just because there was a lot of learning curve for the stuff that I didn't know how to tutor. I had to tutor one kid in biology, another in English, a bunch in history, and I had no idea. I, I was kind of, um, I had to spend time reviewing stuff, and um, I normally get 30, 35 hours. And um, anyway, I wasn't exactly happy. And to top it off, one day I needed to email my uh, colleague, and um, when I opened his Facebook page, he was having a great time in Cancun, and it, it, just, it added even more upset. Here I am losing money staying here, right? It's not even enough to pay for my Airbnb. If I, if I didn't have to work, I could have checked out of the Airbnb and driven somewhere where I could camp, right? So I'm losing money working those hours, and he's kicking back in Cancun. Now, that, that just really upset me. Um, and so, uh, I... I to give you an idea of how upset I was, I opened his Facebook intending to ask him a question about what he was doing with the student. Instead, I, I, I clicked the delete button. He, I deleted him off of my Facebook. And um, he came back and, and he asked me why I had deleted him. I, I told him that I had quit some bad habits and um, I, 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 need, I, didn't, I needed to uh, get away from that stuff. You know, quit drinking, quit gambling. And he understood. I knew that, that was something that people could... I didn't tell him it was drinking and gambling. I said I quit some not-so-healthy habits and I need to take the time away from that. I, it's not you, it's me. And he understood that, which was good. I, I, I knew I would have trouble handling that, but he got back. And um, we shook on that, and that's all right. We're just not going to be Facebook friends. We're still going to be real-life friends. So that's good. And it, it really... My experience highlighted that my boss was very friendly, but he wasn't a friend. I mean, uh, I can shake hands with him, but I can't hold his hand. Let's put it that way. And so we got Thanksgiving week coming up and another situation just like that. And so I straight up told my boss, I'll stay the Thanksgiving week if there's 20 hours of work to do. Otherwise, I, you know, it's been two years since I've traveled because of all the stuff that's been going on in the news. And... Um, uh, if there's not 20 hours, I think I want to take care of some personal matters. And uh, by the way, I, I, I kind of want an answer before Veterans Day because I want to be able to arrange my uh, situation. And so he's going to give me 20 hours regardless of how many hours of work there turns out to be. So that's good. That's good. But it, it made me very upset that I had to deal with it that way because I, I really wanted to make some friends. But I, it, 
it hit me that I don't I don't really have friends at the office. I have a bunch of friendly people that I work with, uh, but I didn't have a friend there, and that kind of hurt uh, in some ways. I mean, I'm glad I, I got it resolved, but it, in a way, it, it left a hole in my heart. Anyway, I had to pivot my strategy with my boss today, and um, and then I came home to see there was another pivot going on in the world. So that gave me a nice warm fuzzy feeling that I wasn't the only one to pivot.